This time on Low Boost, I'm gonna go over how to properly measure a custom drive shaft. To catch you guys up to speed on my 1966 Ford Mustang restoration, I pulled the six cylinder out with the original C4 automatic that is designed for a six cylinder. It will not hold the power of a V8, so I upgraded that as well. <clears throat> I swapped a 302 in there out of a 1971 Ford Bronco and got an AOD automatic transmission out of like a Fox body Mustang or Ford Thunderbird. Um, the only the problem here was I actually tried to cut my original drive shaft yoke down a few inches so it actually would fit up, but the AOD transmission was just too long and I couldn't make it fit. <clears throat> and then upon further inspection, I realized this drive shaft actually was dented uh, pretty bad. So to be able to cut this thing down and have them remake a new one um, was just not going to work. The drive shaft was basically shot unless it was going to be used that way and probably wasn't even great to be used there either. So I ended up going to Universal Auto Parts, which is in Albany, New York, and they made me a custom drive shaft for this application. A bunch of different places you can go to. You can actually buy a drive shaft for your Mustang uh, that's already cut and done and balanced and ready to go, but you still are gonna need to measure your drive shaft to really figure it out. This doesn't just go for Mustang applications. This really goes for any car that has an input shaft like the one you're gonna see in this video. So I'm gonna go over exactly what I did based on their specifications with the drive shaft to be able to send them the information on how long the drive shaft the drive shaft needed to be so they can make the proper one for me to slap on the car which i did now we're gonna try to measure this show you guys what they asked to do so you put in the yoke all the way and pull it out an inch to give it some play then you measure to the center point on this piece here um after you've pushed this in all the way and then back it out an inch then you measure there. Halfway on it through the hole there. So it's halfway in the middle of the center of the hole, and all the way down to the end, right where the cap on the axle is. So you just gotta take uh, this out and then measure right from there. And that should give you an accurate measurement to how long your drive shaft needs to be. Universal Auto actually loaned me this slip yoke to throw onto the back of the AOD automatic transmission to really get an accurate measurement number. So if you're working with a local drive shaft shop that's close to you, uh, maybe they'll be willing to loan you one of these or you buy one to figure it out yourself. Or you pop, probably could use the old drive shaft yoke that you have from your previous uh, transmissions drive shaft, which does fit, it does slip into it. But obviously I'm getting a brand new one. Uh, to work with the new drive shaft. So yeah, if you can get that. If you can't, um, obviously you can just, you're not really gonna be able to get an accurate measurement. So make sure you try to get one of these yokes, one of these slip yokes to actually put in and do it yourself. So that's the drive shaft actually completed. I got it done at Universal Auto Parts in downtown Albany. They did a great job, some good welds. It's nice, pretty, and shiny. And all the way down to the back and bolts into the yoke there. And uh, ready to go. Not running a ton of power through it, but if we needed to, that would actually probably hold it. So, good job on Universal Auto Parts. If you guys are interested in seeing more how-to videos on Mustangs like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I have a full video series on V8 swapping my six-cylinder Mustang, and uh, there's a lot of great information on there if you're interested in doing the same thing yourself. Make sure to hit the like button. It lets YouTube know that other people should be watching this video too. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.